Matthew chapter 5, verse 37. The King James Version is on the left-hand side of your screen, and the New Living Translation is on the right-hand side of the screen. For those of you who feel that you need to get a more breakdown in layman's term copy of the Bible, New Living Translation will do just fine. Matthew chapter 5, verse 37. I'll read both texts. King James, but let your communication be yea, yeah for yeah, and nay for nay, which is no. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Matthew chapter 5, verse 37, New Living Translation. Just say a simple yes, I will, or no, I won't. Anything beyond this is from the evil one. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rekahakwadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles and the faithful servants and the men teaching the streets on the highways and the hedges pursuant to Matthew 22 and 9, Luke 14, 21 through 23, and Isaiah 30 and 20. Peace and salutations be to the hope of elect that are scattered abroad, risking their lives and freedoms to do so, especially in these times. Sa peace and salutations to the 144,000, the two generations that are resting in the spirit realm right now, as well as the two generations that are here on earth, the one sons of God bound in chains of darkness upon the earth, the one-third women and children that has been promised salvation between Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 13, 8 and 9, Shalom. Now, I did a, a little video that um, is loading now. It couldn't have been no more longer than four or five, six minutes or something to that effect. And I was going to start that video. I start that video off with Matthew 5.37. And when I had, I just downloaded AZ Screen Recorder again. And it's working very well. But Yahweh B'Shem and Shai made a way out of no way so that I could get the word out when I utilized my camera phone recording feature and put, use my Bible, and I just I recorded a video with the camera over the Bible with sufficient lighting so that the word could be uh, profound, declared, published, ordained in your mind states, if you will. And this is this 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 Matthew five thirty seven starts that video, but we need to go over that again in the parallel so that everybody can say that oh I ain't had no that or oh, somebody ain't had tell me oh I ain't read that chapter I read Matthew skip over chapter five went to six yeah yeah I've heard about all all, all of it it <sighs> shalom shalom shalom. New moon comes in at sundown to this evening. I believe uh, that's at sundown. Um, when the sun is down, we are coming into a new day because the Bible says at even is a new day. Remember, darkness comes first, as in the spirit realm, who is ruling the earth right now. The rulers of darkness. Then the day of the Lord starts off with the Son of Man. Uh, his glory lighting the temple. Okay, he says in John 8 and 12, I am the light of the world. Let's get it right quick. Then said he, oh, no, Matthew, John 8 and 12, slot in. Messed that up. John 22 there, 8 and 12. New Living Translation right here inside of your screen. Yahweh I spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let's get that as well. Mm. 
John 14 and 6, New Living Translation, right inside of your screen. Yahweh told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Okay, so let's get with it. I have a myriad of scriptures that was coming to my head, so I want to like to try to um, keep things short. Now, going back to Malachi, uh, going back to where we started from Matthew, let's go back to it. Acting crazy today, huh? Matthew 5, 37. Okay. Um, let's go back to the subheading of this topic. Teaching about vows. What are vows? Vows is when you make an agreement that you will do such a thing. Remember now, John 14 and 15, let's get that as well. In that scripture that we discussed, he says, give me a simple yes. Uh, give me a simple no. And nobody can get mad with you because you can't drop them off to work because if it's going to put you in a bind and going to have you to and have you going through some extra stuff, although you usually will drop them off because it's on the way to where you go to work at for the evening. But if you can't do it, you can't do it. It is better to go ahead and tell a man or woman that you can't take them to work so that they will have time to research and look up another ride or the ability. Maybe they might keep up the cab, find out how much money the cab comes. How, hey, if you pick me up on Ziggler Street, how, what, what, what's my range on how much that cab fare to drop me off on 2nd Avenue by the, uh, 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 by the bus stop down in that hole? Oh, nine dollars. Well, everywhere you go right now, if you're going at least 10 to 15 miles out, you're going to spend about at least 9 to $10 worth of gas to get there if you had your own car. So, I mean, why not be truthful and honest up front and say what you mean and mean what you say? Because the Bible tells us, um, let's, let's get that. The Bible tells us that we should be judged for every idle word that proceeds out of our mouth. So, let's get that as well. This is not going to be a long lesson. I'm, I'm focusing on trying to do 16-minute videos or less. Some of them are going to be seven minutes because I just need to get a tidbit of a few scriptures and let it go right like that because it's easier to retain and reflect that back upon that. Psalm 1 and 2, Joshua 1, 8 and 9. Meditate on my word day and night. And the word meditate means to speak, to declare, to publish, to ordain, to utter, speak it. So some of you are saying, that man, that look like he talking to himself. No, I'm singing praises to my God that's in heaven, Yahweh, but Shem, is his name. And I'm minding my damn business. Why don't you stay the hell over there? Hello? It, 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 it's not hard. Let's get it here. Um, let's look at the word idol. And we're going to see here. Okay, there it is right there. Matthew 12, 36. We're going to study that word because I'm going to tell you what I thought that word meant. Um, when I first came to knowledge of truth, I heard a brother speak about that particular scripture. And I had not studied. I wasn't using the strong concordance. And I was just reading my Bible, you know, as a, before, right before the Lord woke me up. And I thought idle was when you don't work, you, you don't work on the plantation and they say, y'all going to go to, man, we ain't going to work already five days. They said they're going to let us go at 12 because some company holiday or some federal holiday or whatever. And then you find out, yeah, man, we are waiting on, man. I'm at the clock. I'm going to clock out, man. I ain't staying here all the extra time. I work all that overtime last weekend. Hell, I got a family. <laughs> yeah, I got a family I'm going to. I'm just tired because I done worked so many days and back-to-back -back type of overtime. Y'all know those type of situations. Your mind telling you to go ahead and stay, but your body says, man, go on home and hit the racks. You know what I'm saying? Take a shower and hit the racks. Rest. Just rest, right? So now, so what begins to happen here is, uh, let's leave it there. I thought idle meant, this is the importance of studying, pursuant to 2 Timothy 2.15. 
And and we should study to show thyself approved unto God. Let's get that right quick and then we'll return back. Okay, there it is. King James Version, to a verse on the left hand side of your screen. Study to shoe thy might study to shew thyself approved unto God, a work man that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. New Living Translation, same scripture, Second Timothy chapter two, verse fifteen. Work hard so you can present yourself to our power and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. That's very, very important. Because Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, we covered in the last video, it says, um, there's no new thing under the sun. Ecclesiastes 3.15 says, God requires that which is past. But there are some scriptures that dealt with us going into Israel when we were in the wilderness being led out by Moses and Aaron. That's for that time. Some of those scriptures can relate to where we are now because we're in the land of our captivity. Uh, Exodus 20 and 2 says, The Lord brought us out of the house of bondage. And Egypt means bondage, okay? Um, that's uh, Exodus chapter, no, Exodus chapter 20, verse 2, okay? So, um, the house of bondage, which means captivity, which means slavery, same thing. Because you can't do what you want to do and go where you want to go and do and work as long as you want to work and start working at least. You are under the direction of the overseas rules of this kingdom here now in Babylon the Great, which is who? Yeah, dumb people. <laughs> the oppressor, yes. I mean, if you work a nine to five, let's say you go in at 10 and get off at six. Sometimes you can go in at eight of this extra overtime at your department, whatever you've been cleared with your supervisor and your team leader to come in and work with first shift on Saturday morning. But you just can't say, yeah, I'm supposed to be here at nine o'clock. Oh, I'm a bus up in there by one. And I'm gonna run them parts in 50, 11,000 seconds and I'm gonna be clocking out going home. On well, whose job do you work for? You must work by yourself. <laughs> Cause you're gonna do that around here on no plantation. And it's the same thing. It's just, it just repeats. For some things will not repeat again because we're going into the kingdom soon after Jacob's trouble. I'm glad I caught that because my phone has a wheel stopping off on me. Let me see where we at. Okay, it's still keeping time. Let's get to it. Uh, see that? So, as you can see, a vow is an agreement. Okay, the lawyer says, be careful. When you vow, vow, pay. Now, I'm going to do, I want to do, not I'm going to. That's blasphemy right there. Okay, and let's, let's head to our last scripture here right quick. Um, this is James 4.15. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's, no, let's go back. We got to say the word idle. Now, what I thought idle meant was when you done tired and y'all supposed to get off at 12 or 1, company shutting down for some holiday, federal, whatever company holiday, whatever the case is. And I think that was Matthew 12, 36, I believe. Let's see if you're right. No, that ain't going to come up like that. No, 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 no. Let's check it out now. There it be. <laughs> there you go. All right, now. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. King James. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. New Living Translation, and I tell you this, you must give an account on Judgment Day for every idle word you speak. Now, you know what I thought idle meant? You know how you clean your car when it's idling down? Now, I'm just, you know, I'm just using the word in a text that you can understand. But I thought idle meant, before I started studying in the strong concordance, I thought I don't meant when, you know, you're getting off work, everybody's in company shutting down at 12, all departments shutting down for three or four days, 
Let's see, y'all got Friday, Saturday, Sunday off or something like that, right? And, you know, y'all normally have Saturday, Sundays off in your department, but they letting everybody go Friday early at 12 o'clock. You come in at 4 o'clock in the morning, get off at 12. Something to that effect, and you got the rest of the day to go and shop and get everything you need for whatever you might be doing, or just go home and rest or read your Bible and street preach is what we're speaking of, because that's what we do. But anyway, now, but then you get kind of tired, and you kind of, and then they call your section back to say, y'all can work another hour. you like, God damn it, this, man, what the hell, man? I thought we were going to go, man, man. Who tell that? Oh, Lord. <laughs> you know how we get. Oh, ain't nothing else to do over there. Man, that's too bad. I don't know what's wrong with him. That kind of thought thinking. I thought that idol meant all that cussing and all that, not cussing, all the little sighs and moans and groans and all. Man, that type of stuff. Was meant idol. Hell no. Let's study that word. Right? You can find out what that word means now. Because that don't mean that. That's not what that means. Okay, so let's study right now. If y'all got that example good, if you didn't, then, you know, you just need to just go into the word idol. Comes from the Greek. Let's hear it. Strong's G692. Argos. 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 And it means free from labor. Labor, free from labor, at leisure. Watch this. Lazy, shunning the labor which one ought to perform. That's what it means, okay? Lazy, free from labor, right? Now, let's go to get some more. Inactive, unemployed by implication. Lazy, useless, barren, idle, slow. So, in other words, those of us who understand the knowledge of the truth and the hidden mysteries, uh, the way it was meant to be delivered to the ears and eyes of the hopeful elect of the house of Israel, right? Matthew 13, 11, Mark 4, 9. They have eyes to see, yet cannot see, ears to hear, nor do they perceive, nor do they understand. Why? Yahweh Shemeshah has put a spirit of sleep and slumber upon two-thirds of our people. Them the ones where you say, you read the scripture, my temple is not made with man's hands. Yet, yeah, I'm about to go down here and mess on the Baptist, they having a quiet anniversary, and they got, they, try, they got food too. Didn't he say my temple is not made with man's hands? Was not Macedonian Baptist built in 1922, really beat it, and man all hand all in it? Well, that can't be correct, right? But you, and you can explain this and you can go through this over and over again. They ain't gonna never get, they'll understand it then. But they'll think about all that their grandmothers and great grandmothers and their pastors and assistant pastors. My cousin was a pastor and she's a woman. Although the Bible says 1 Corinthians 14 34, women are not permitted to speak in the church. If they have a questions, if they'll learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. If they'll learn anything, <laughs> If, hello, I mean, what, they can't learn it or they won't refer to it. They're going to do whatever the hell they want to do, right? Right, okay, now, so as you can see there, um, and I sound a little bit more up tempo, like, you know, a little bit more excited because I finally got a, a screen recorder that allows me to record more than 10 minutes, and that's AZ Screen Recorder. I uninstall my old one and uninstall my Mobizen, and I... Re oh, shit. 